<laughs> I bet you die every time you play this game. But look, it's not even your fault. Hey, some of it is probably your motherfucking fault. But most of it is your loadout, your perks you're using. You got the wrong perks on. So I made this video just for you. The top 10 best perks in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game right now. This list can change in the future, but hey, as of right now, I went through every perk, used every perk to find out what is the best perks that you could use right now. Obviously, this list is subjective. Some of it is objective, but it is my opinion based on my experiences. So, if you is new, make sure you like the video. Shows me that you enjoy the content and subscribe if you do enjoy me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and also, I made a Discord server if you want to join and play some games. Took a while to make, but let's get into the list. Shoo! At number 10, we got Jumpstart. This would have probably got higher on the list if this shit was actually consistent, but this shit ain't consistent. Like, for everybody who say Jumpstart is a good perk, it is. I see the potential in Jumpstart. It could be a top five perk, but it's not consistent. Sometimes it takes. 20% of your stamina sometimes it take 50% sometimes it take 100 it's just inconsistent so you know what I'm saying how could I put it over these other perks when these other perks is consistent at number nine we got no sell and I already know some people are gonna kill me for having this at number nine because they think it's a top three perk and I do believe no sell is a good perk but having three charges I feel like it's not enough and another reason because if you're not playing versus leatherface those three charges could be used up in a matter of three seconds by a hitchhiker or a sissy so there's other perks that's better like stunt devil <laughs> nah i don't think stunt devil is better than no sale but in terms of ranking them it's better than no sale because it doesn't have charges and you can do this shit all game long you can jump down wells all game you can jump out of windows all game if that's what you want to do the whole game, you will not die. I literally did it for a whole game. Jumped down a well at least 30 times and didn't even get close to 20 HP, literally. So if you find yourself playing aggressive, doing a lot of objectives, and you're welding a lot, jumping out of windows, put this perk on right now. At number seven, we got fish hooks. And I might get killed for this one as well, but before y'all kill me, I got two substitutes that you can use if you don't want to use fish hooks. Number one, you can use fight back. And number two, you can use choose fight. But let me explain what fish hooks does. When you sneak attack a family member, they can only have 25% stamina for 30 seconds. So imagine your character only got 25% stamina. Yeah, you'll be mad, right? That's what the family got to deal with. And that's the reason I feel like it deserves a spot on this top 10 list. And what would a good list be without Graffler at our number six spot? So basically, each button tap you do during a fight or a close encounter, should we say, is 50% more effective. Uh, It's probably a typo in that because that shit should be 90% more effective because my first time using this, I didn't lose one fight. I fought when I was 100 HP, 50 HP, 20 HP, uh, 10 HP. It doesn't matter. If you're Ana and Leland, you got to use this perk. This just makes chasing you a headache. Family not even going to chase you when you use this. So put this perk on right now. At number five, we got Empowered. And I feel like this deserves the number five spot. It's the most underrated perk in TCM. When you survive a close encounter, you basically get 50% of your health, 90% of your stamina. I don't see how this is not a win-win for the victim. So use this perk right now. At number four, we got Bomb Squad. Now that we got two killers that use traps, Bomb Squad is actually more effective in these scenarios you basically can dismantle traps 80 percent faster that goes for nancy's traps and hitchhiker's traps however you cannot dismantle a trap that's in a doorway i repeat you cannot dismantle these traps doesn't matter if you got it <laughs> however 
You can't have Johnny dumbass come break it for you. I'm gonna smack that Johnny upside the doggone head. At number three, we got what doesn't kill you. I feel like this perk deserves a top three spot. A lot of people don't know about this perk because they too busy using no sale. But if you don't know about this perk, let me explain what it does. If you take any melee damage from Leatherface from any other family member and you avoid additional damage for 15 seconds, they reward you with 100% of the health you just lost. And this perk is amazing by itself. However, if you do use it with other perks like Empower and Extra Drip, you basically gonna be a healing tank the whole match. You take damage, you gonna get the health right back. And speaking of extra drip, y'all know we had to put it at top two. Personally, I wanted to put it at one because this is my favorite perk in Texas. In my opinion, there's no other healing perk in this game that's beating this. This is literally lapping any other healing perk by a long shot. And then I feel like the people that was able to use this perk, it fits them perfect. Like you got Ana, she's a tank. And then when you use a perk that is healing you while you're taking damage, just makes using Ana way better. And then you got Connie, she's a locksmith and she basically can't take damage. So when she does take damage, she gets hit a lot. So when you're able to use a small pot and go back up to 100 HP, that's huge for these characters. Oh, and it also works for Danny too, but I didn't want to put Danny on the list or any of his perks because he is a paid DLC. Maybe in the future when in-game currency come, I'll put him on the list with his perks. But until then, we're going to keep Danny off the list. But yeah, use extra drip right now. The best healing perk in TCM. No other healing perk is beating this. And at number one, we got choose flight, man. Oh shit. Um, I'm kind of not using choose flight as I did as much. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I ain't go say it at number one because it's a number one. And then when you look at the stats, when you start going into your matches and seeing player loadouts and player perks, you'll start to realize that in 95% of games, every single victim has this perk equipped it. Like, it's crazy. I didn't notice it until I started making this video. And then I started realizing that everybody uses it. And there's a reason for it, <laughs> as you can see so yeah that was basically my top 10 best perks in the texas game right now and you should use those perks and if you use them let me know what you think about them uh comment let me know your thoughts about the list and just try to be respectful don't be cringe and if you enjoyed the video make sure you like it it just lets me know that you enjoyed it and subscribe if you do want to see more content of mine but i'm out i hope y'all have a blessed day and happy holidays